Hello everyone! So after receiving your feedback, and after we release Hotfix 1 and 2, it's now time to show you all what's coming in our first major update, which is called St. Francis and Friends. So, without further ado, let's start with the man himself, St. Francis. Now he is a fantastic character. He's just as great at showing compassion to animals as he is at showing rage. After all, you gotta have a whole spectrum of emotions. St. Francis, he has an army of pigeons. And not only can they fly, but they can also coo. And when a pigeon stands next to a koa, well, that pigeon will also start to coo, which will create this superpower when they start healing themselves and provide stronger attacks. Also, we can't forget about the wolf pilgrim. That's the only beast that doesn't attack. However, don't be fooled. It can still deal damage if it reaches the new battlefield object, the Pilgrim's Shrine. And also, the last beast in St. Francis' army, the Sheep Devotee. Now, its bells awaken friends and force enemies to take a nap. Heretics though, beware. The Sheep will deal increased damage to you. There is also a new status, the armor. Beasts with it will only take one damage the next time they lose health, and be it through their own attack or anything else. We also have some new talents. One of them makes the pigeons coo when they stand next to a tiny inclinado. Between you and me, that's some powerful stuff and a powerful combo. And it doesn't stop there. From now on, you can choose a new tiny inclinado at the start of the journey mode. And that's Andreas. Yes, that Andreas from Pentiment. Now, the story says that he ran away from all his troubles and joined the Inclinate Academy. Well, that's what they say. Whatever the reasons though, you can definitely see that he's a bit of a handsome chap. And apparently he can solve a mystery or two as well. Now, here's a hot potato scoop for you. More than 20 new battlefields have been added to the game. We've also improved the randomization of the campaigns, so that you will very rarely see the same battlefield in a single journey mode attempt. We've also heard that many of you found the game too difficult and that the difficulty spike of the game was uneven. Now we've taken all of that feedback that you said to us to heart and now the easy mode is much easier so that you can familiarize yourself with the journey mode before you take on a bigger difficulty. And on all difficulty modes, the battles will also have a more even out difficulty spike. So let us know what you think. Your feedback and your suggestions, well, they motivate us to make an even better game. And all the comments, both the positive and the negative ones, well, we analyze them carefully and we plan the improvements based on what you say. So thanks so much for sharing all of that info with us and you truly are an amazing community. So thank you from the bottom of our hearts. And now on to the next big update. So keep the feedback coming and let us know all your thoughts. Until next time, take care.